instructed by the Holy Ghost that he was to wait for the consolation of Israel to return, describing the coming and, and ministry of the Messiah. He was led by the Spirit to the temple that day. Immediately when he saw baby Jesus, he knew it was him. He took Simeon took Jesus up in his arms and began to prophesy. He said the child was sent to bring salvation to the Gentiles as well as to the house of Israel. He was sent into the world for the fall and rising again of many of Israel. <coughs> Isaiah 8 and 40 and 14. Mary was told that a soul would pierce her soul, meaning the pain she would suffer as she was watching being crucified. Another person also waiting for the promise of the Messiah was Anna the prophet, who had committed her life to preserving to serve God in the temple by fasting and prayer continually. She immediately recognized by the Holy Ghost that this was not an ordinary baby, but the promise of Messiah. Notice that neither she nor Simeon uh, questioned the parents or daddy as they followed the Spirit's leading and they were rewarded for their patience and waiting. Today we as believers in Christ anxiously, should be anxiously awaiting for the promise of Christ's second coming. And, uh, and we, we uh, uh, need to be. That's, uh, uh, that, that's for sure. I thought about the, uh, in, in, uh, in studying this lesson, probably, uh, probably this scripture or some companion to it will be uh, read in almost every, every church we did today. And, uh, uh, and rightfully so, it's a wonderful scripture, that's for sure. I thought about uh, uh, what is the uh, most important event that ever took place in the Bible. And it would pretty much have to be the birth of Jesus Christ, you know, because the, his crucifixion is important too, but he, he couldn't have ever been crucified and he, he rose again had he not been born first. So he uh, uh, is a, for sure a, a big and, and important event. You know, we can uh, see in our lesson here uh, that even in that day, probably more so than there is today, that people, some people, searched the scriptures and was really watching and uh, and, uh, <coughs> and looking and looking for his appearance. But just uh, uh, like it is today, they were uh, probably in the lesser, uh, definitely in the lesser number. You know, uh, people uh, uh, today are not as concerned about the the prospect of. A, or really the certain thing of, of Jesus returning here to this earth because uh, I mean, it's going to happen, you know, so it's got to, some, uh, someday it's got to happen. That's, uh, but, but I do, I think people are, are unconcerned really according to what really that we ought to be. Scholars and, and uh, scribes that study the Bible, study the scripture at that time, what Mosaic law and all that they had. They were looking for Jesus to be born into a, a royal family, a, uh, come out of a lineage and make him a, a king or somebody like that. Some, uh, they were looking for somebody to take over the physical government of Israel and and to uh, run it. You know. And Jesus never did get people to understand that that way of that, the, that the, the country or the city or the government that he was building was inside of people. It wasn't a, a material thing, you know. It, uh, he told them different times that his uh, uh, people and his the followers weren't born of this world, you know. They, they, they just weren't looking uh, for that. And, and, to the, and then the scholars, like they said, wasn't looking for no baby to be born in the, in the in a manger, and, and uh, uh, you know, they were just looking uh, for him to come in a different way. You know, I think that often about about myself. Uh, if I'm really uh, looking and really trying to keep myself prepared for the event that is going to happen, it's not the, it's not it may happen or it can happen, 
uh, it's going to happen. You know, Jesus is going to come back here when we say. And but I wonder if I'm really uh, watching uh, and, uh, and and praying and and, uh, and trying to do uh, as good as I can to be to be ready for that event when he, when it happens. That's uh, uh, Simeon and Anna Sarah. That I thought about that lady. They didn't do the way I understand that. Excuse me, she didn't do anything but pray and fast there in the temple. And uh, you know what? What kind of uh, uh, power that we'd have with God if, if, if that's all we've done? You know, we fast and prayed and, and uh, worked in the in the church and all. We cleaned up those things, made the food, stuff like that. But the, uh, those uh, they were rewarded for their faithfulness because they did what God told them to, and told them to do. To watch and, and the thing was that they were going to see Jesus before they died. I thought about the birth of Jesus that had been uh, prophesied for hundreds of years. You know, Isaiah prophesied about him, or let me explain how to that. Moses talked about a leader that was coming that was uh, similar to him, that, that uh, uh, was going to deliver, uh, uh, deliver the people, you know, out of bondage and everything before they were dead. And, uh, and, and make a way for them to and make a way for them to go to heaven. Uh, evidently, uh, the majority of the people were like we are today. Uh, they believed that Jesus was coming back. They, they believed in Jesus Christ. You could take a survey today <coughs> and the streets of anywhere, and they have tell you that uh, they believed that Jesus was coming back, but. Uh, but just not today, you know. Right. It's not uh, uh, not going to be uh, uh, no time soon. Uh, you know, people don't uh, conduct themselves. A lot of uh, people, you know, spend all their time doing things that they want to do, the things they feel like they need to do, and work, and, and, uh, and then say that they're really, really looking for Jesus to come back and had done nothing for the Lord at all, they're not looking for Jesus to come back, you know, that, that's for sure. But, uh, you know, we can read about in the Bible about a lot of people that uh, uh, performed great miracles and displayed great faith, you know, people that uh, Daniel or any of them, you know, that risked their very life uh, for the gospel's sake. But, uh, Nobody that you read about in the Bible uh, displayed more faith than the Virgin Mary did uh, when she uh, was, a, was a obedient to what the, what the angel told her to do. You know, what was going to happen? You know, that, uh, uh, she had to have great faith in God. Uh, in that day, a, a woman that was uh, pregnant out of a out of marriage, uh, could very well, probably would be killed, you know, I mean, they just, uh, uh, they just didn't uh, uh, go into that. And I was talking about Joseph. Joseph had to have faith in God, and he had to have a great trust in Mary, too. He had to have, I mean, because he's just, uh, I mean, these are just people uh, like we are. You know, the Bible says that Elijah was a, a man just like we are, you know, and they were too, and he had, I'm sure that, uh, he thought of uh, everything, you know, that people would say, and, and uh, uh, but he decided that he decided Mary did too uh, to trust God and depend on Him and believe what He told him. Uh, you know, uh, I thought too about how the emphasis that they put on taking Jesus to have Him dedicated to God. And, Simeon, the man of God, that prophesied and prayed for him. Uh, you know, that's a, it may seem trivial when you bring like a, a little baby up and get a pray for because they don't know what's going on. I guess God knows what's going on. It's a very, I think it's a, a very, very important and needful ceremony uh, that we do. And it could very well in a car wreck or anything like that make a difference in life and death. You know, it, it could very well, I'm sure it has. But uh, I thought about how here lately, you know, we've been studying about the, the standards of a deacon and uh, 